Say a prayer. Dear Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and good and gracious God, guide and protect us today as we prepare to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. Help us to follow Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly earlier. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ which was not made known to human beings in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this, I became a minister by the gift of God's grace that was granted me in accord with the exercise of his power. To me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. 
you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Alleluia, hallelujah. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared for an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful, prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that same servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat, drink, and get drunk, then the servant's master will come at an unexpected day and an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign a place for him with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely, and the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only slightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. We kneel now for our novena in honor of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and St. Anne. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. We fly to you, Our Lady and Our Mother, with entire confidence. Your Son has given you all power over his heart. Do take us, your children, and place us in that divine heart, so that our souls may be purified from all that is displeasing to him, so that henceforth our hearts may be like yours on their love of God and our neighbor. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, singular vessel of the Holy Spirit, hear my prayer as I kneel before you. O Mary, Queen of Heaven, from the bottom of my heart, I beg you to hear my prayers and grant me the graces and favors I ask in this novena. If what I ask is not for the glory of God or the salvation of my soul, do give me peace of mind in what is most conducive to both. (laughs) 
Stretch out, O most, most bountiful Jesus, your pierced hands, which you on the cross have stretched out for all sinners, and bless us in body and soul, as you ascending into heaven have blessed your apostles, that our enemy, terrified at the sign of the cross, may flee from us and not hurt us. So bless us, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. I novena prayer to good Saint Anne. Glorious Saint Anne, filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer. Heavily laden with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg you to take the present affair, which I commend you under your special protection. Deign to commend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and lay it before the throne of Jesus, so that he may bring it to a happy ending. Cease not to intercede for me until my request is granted. Above all, obtain for me the grace of one day beholding my God face to face, and with you and our Blessed Mother and all the saints, praising and blessing him for all eternity. Good Saint Anne, Mother of her, who is our life, our sweetness, and our hope, pray for me. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your divine grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, then when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as together we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body to be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. And remember your servants, David Beard and Gloria Lombardo, whom you have called from this world unto yourself. Grant that they who will unite with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Carmel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look upon the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that should enter into my heart, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ. 
Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. God bless you, God, Son, Holy Spirit. Blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and be prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.